We lost her. <laughs> she is frozen. So we'll talk for a little bit. So hi, hi, everyone. Everybody. Thank this you is so a, much this for all Nick the birthday show wishes now. going on in the chat. It's absolutely... Um, Let us entertain you. La, 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 la. <laughs> it's actually mind-boggling to see that there's already five should, should we show them? Should we show them? Okay. Okay, we have a secret, guys. We are wearing our nice shirts we here. We look great on top but of it. Shorts, shorts on the bottom! <laughs> shorts on the bottom! <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Our secret, right guys? Don't tell anyone. Did I breathe there? You sure did. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. It's 10 o'clock. Everyone's trying to get on, on the internet now, I guess. <laughs> so, did you do your, it's like they missed it, but you, did you do your little, uh, introduction there? No. no. We, we showed them what we were wearing. <laughs> Sure. Sure. So uh, I'm Nick, and I'm John Luke, and we are the WW Gays. Most, a lot of you probably already know that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and actually, kind of funny because we're the WW Gays, and we we were known as the Wellness Warriors. That's yeah. what our WW stands for. Yeah. Um, and it was something we decided to pick as far as uh, on our journey. We decided to brand ourselves with that because we wanted to. First of all, we're a gay married couple. We've been married for eight years, together for twelve. Um, attached. To the hip, basically, yeah. we do everything, everything together. together. Everything together. And so our journey is that uh, we've basically been overweight our entire life. So we've been doing WWE for almost nine years now, and we've, we're repeat offenders. We say it all the time, in and out, in and out. And uh, this time it worked for us, and now we share what why it worked for us. Mm -hmm. And, and try we try to we try to help others uh, on their journey. We try to we help others believe in themselves. Yes, that's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. Ready. As ready as we'll ever be. All of my burning questions that I have for you. Sure. You ready? Yeah. I can't wait. All right. Well, let's start at the beginning then. Can you tell us a little bit about your habits and what your life style is like Uh, <laughs> I will tell you guys about yeah. a typical Friday night. So a typical Friday night for us, we come home from work, we get our chores done, we go grocery shopping if we needed to make sure we had food in the house for the weekend. But then once the food was, as you said, as you noticed, I did say go grocery shopping, right? But let's say around six o'clock where Jean-Luc didn't feel like cooking and he would just go, dee, 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 dee. yes, hello, could I have $125 worth of Chinese food delivered to our home, please? Oh yes, there's a lot of us here. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So they would show up with a bag, like 10 bags of food. Oh, there's a party behind. They're, they're librarians, they're very quiet. So you don't hear them, they're just partying. They're very, there's 10 people, yeah, yeah. But and it, it was we would eat that food all weekend. It would be our dinner, our lunch for the next day, our breakfast, it would be lunches for the following week if there was any left. Midnight snack, it would be, yeah. it would be like, we would eat basically, our weekends were eat, sleep, Watch TV, eat, Repeat. sleep, watch TV. We were constantly doing it. We had no energy. We were lazy. We did nothing. Nothing. And we were just always tired. Yeah. Always tired. But didn't understand why. Yeah, I didn't understand why. Yeah, I, I can totally, you know what? I totally identify with that too. For me, it was the Chinese food. It was sushi. And we knew it was a good order if they put in four sets of chopsticks. Ah! They would always give us 10 fortune cookies. <laughs> Well, Friday night, like this week, we actually, uh, we did a virtual exercise. We went live on Facebook. We do that every day. We do workouts live so that we can keep ourselves accountable and other people join us. So we did we did that on Friday. Twice. Twice. We did that Friday morning with a uh, step class. Friday afternoon, around six o'clock, we joined in a body class, which is a low impact exercise walking class with a WW coach as the instructor. Yeah, and um, so we did that. Uh, we made dinner. We made dinner. What did we have on Friday night? I don't night? remember what we had on Friday Something night. good. Yeah. It was, was it just chicken? Oh, it was the pasta. Oh, yes. We made pasta on, on, we, we uh... We had pasta, yes, yeah. but it was quinoa. 
pasta. We had a cup of quinoa pasta between the two of us. Yeah. With chicken. So with. That is a huge change. Just even like as far as your eating habits. Oh. Right? And the funny part about it is, is we felt guilty about eating that pasta on a Friday night because the next day's a weigh-in, but it was a, a cup. Yeah, it was so a we cup. So like, a cup between the two of us is not enough pasta, but it was right. full with everything else. Right. Well, that's great. And see, and that's, it's probably really nice for you to look back and reflect on how far that you've come. We do often. Looking at those two Friday nights, wow, big changes. I you, um, now, life as we all know it, you guys, as we've, it's changed for us. The biggest challenge for us starts off with just the social. Um, we're very big social people. People have seen our schedule. We travel all the time. We're always in different cities, different locations, doing tour visits. And, and so then visiting family as visiting well. Family and, and we all and we have lots of friends that we get together with. So we're, we're very social. So us, the biggest struggle was the social aspect at first. It was not having that direct connection with people. And so that's why we started going live so often. That's why we started doing more shows on our channel and having more interaction with people because we thought at least doing that, it's, 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 we like to say it's, it's, it's not social distancing we're doing, it's physical distancing right now. You still need to be social with the people you know and try to be as social as you can right now with the technology we have. Yeah, I completely agree with that. And I think too was realizing that we needed to revamp certain things we did and we needed to do it from the get-go yeah. of this situation. We decided not to wait till we figured out, or the government figured out what was gonna happen, if we were gonna be going back to work or not. We said, let's create a, a plan now. Now, yeah. Let's talk about this plan now. It might change, but at least let's get some foundation, some structure into our days. Yeah. It's needed. Now, that, that is so applicable to what our topic was last, last week in our workshops, right? Talking about taking control. Yeah. Yeah, we roll with the rules around, you know, the government is putting in place right now, but we can control what is going on in this house right now. Exactly. And we told ourselves, we don't want to come June or July and say, why did we not do something in March or yeah. April? And it's not like we're good every day. We don't, like, some days are, we don't follow the plan, but at least we have a plan to fall back on all the time. Yeah. Wait, good for you guys. That's great. So now we talked about how the technique from last week has helped you in this isolation. I'm going to look forward. So spoiler alert to all you members who are going to your workshop this week. This week, we are going to be talking about having a start fresh plan. So do you ever find yourself off track? Who doesn't? I think everyone does. <laughs> I think that's a we, general... We WWDs, right? You must be perfect all the time. No. Um, of course no. I'm perfect. Actually, Nick thinks he's perfect. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> but you know what it is? It's so funny because that's the one thing we are very proud of is the fact that we show the good, the bad, the ugly, and we want people to realize that it's not we always struggle easy. too. It's we not have our easy. moments. Yeah. Um, we've gone off track, like we, uh, December, January, February, we're, we had a rough few months and we put on some weights. It's, we, we tell her, we tell everyone, like we, we're honest, we both gained 15 pounds and it happens, mm -hmm. but you know what? Every day is a new day and every day we try it again to refocus and if it didn't happen that day then you know what the next day we try again and if it's just breakfast we can do and then just lunch then at least it's two meals we did that day and that's what that's the way we live our life now. Because we kind of come to the realization that the only way to fail is if you don't try. Yeah. That's the only time you fail is if you don't try because if you tried that's not failure. If you tried and you didn't succeed at first you just have to keep trying again. Yeah. You learn every single time. Well, thanks for sharing that you struggle too. I know oh. that for a lot of our members out there, this probably helps them to feel like, oh, okay, I don't have to be perfect all the time because they're not perfect all the time. We're flossum. We're, we're flossum. We're flossum. So say you have a night, say, say you have a night like you would have had, you know, five years ago with the Chinese food. Say that happened now. How do you bounce back? What do you do? What's your next step? We just, the next meal, we just, if we know we had a very point heavy meal, we'll do, we'll do a zero point. Let's talk about last night. Yeah, last okay. night. It last was my example. birthday yesterday, right? So I, of course, my food is Chinese. I made homemade Chinese food last night for my dinner. I had chicken balls, two point ingredient dough cut, wrapped in some chicken, baked it in the oven. I had spring rolls, two point spring rolls, because everything inside except for the wrapper had points. And then we were gonna make a quinoa fried rice, and I decided, 
who needs the extra quinoa? I'm just gonna make a fried cauliflower rice instead for zero points. Yeah. So there's our dinner. We in, we ate all of that. Yeah, and we pointed it all out, and it was, and by one point last night we had we were doing a live sh live karaoke last night. So at one point lost we realized track. we lost track. So of what course. we just told ourselves, you know what? We're just gonna eat what we want tonight. It's his birthday, but we're basically wiping out all our weeklies. Our weeklies Since are Since we've gone. not been able to track, we're just gonna put forty two. We basically use all our weeklies, and tomorrow's a new day when we start. And, and that's now we, we're pointing out everything we are eating today. And that's what we do all the time. We always look at every situation, and see how can we make this the best possible. We can't always be perfect, so there has to be, there's tools that WWE gives us to say, this is the situation, this is the lay of the land, what can you do right now to make it better? Is it because, oh, I don't know what the points are, but there's chicken there. I know chicken is zero on blue. I'll have chicken then, I know that's zero. And we use those tricks all the time. So speaking of tools that WWE gives us, what are some of your favorite tools that you use? We love the, uh, the popcorn popper. Love the popcorn popper. That's one of our favorite popcorn ones. Popcorn popper. Love the scale. The uh, avocado. Love the app. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, the app, app yeah. is like. <laughs> I, I guess I'd like to know specifically what what um, tools within the app are your favorite. Oh, we love connect. Like the chatting, the 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 social aspect of of connect. We love. We we're often on there. We try to post as often as possible because. Like we say, we'd want to help other people. So if we post something to help someone, then that's that's what we love doing. I find also the fact that you can tr your tracker, your yeah. tracker is like golden on your app. We Come actually have a history of our full weights from 2011 on that app. So we have our full history of how we've gone our entire journey, the full roller coaster of the entire time we've done this. And it's such a cool thing to go back and look at. Um, you need to do that more often. We should post that. Yeah, we totally should. Yeah, we should post that. And I also really like the, uh, of course, the scanner. Scanner is yeah. a huge thing. I love the new zero point list. Food list. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's an amazing that. list. And we love the uh, that you can switch between the programs so easily. Yes. We do that often because we have to build recipes, so we often have to switch between plans. So we love that as well. See, I hope I hope all you people who are watching are just feeling inspired to just discover all these new features within your app. Because look at it, like there's so much out there to explore and to use and to motivate and help. And that they keep adding new stuff, like the 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 um. The, the streaks. The streaks now that they're adding. How cool is that? Get more bonus win, more wellness win points if you're like scan three breakfast tracking your food. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Those those uh those app developers are dumb, right? They know they know what helps. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna shift our focus a little bit here, and I want to ask how how are you guys kind to yourself on this journey? Kind to ourselves on this journey. That's kind of an interesting question because um. I think for us, it's we talk kindly to ourselves now. It's all about how self-talk. Yeah, we, we, we try to be as positive as we possibly can. Our motto is be the most positive person alive so negative people don't want to be around you. So the way we're kind to ourselves is we always make sure that any any words we use are positive. We never get down on ourselves because we went off track. We don't get mad at ourselves because we had that piece of cake. We we, we forgive ourselves and we move that's, on from it. And I think that's the thing. We forgive ourselves. We do get down on ourselves, but we try to move on as quickly as possible from that moment instead of making it an, a, like... Um, making it become a routine of being so negative. Yeah. Like we try to revert it to a positive. And in terms of rewarding ourselves, like when we reach goals, things like that, we usually tend to do stuff like massages, trips. So our first cruise we did last year was actually kind of a, like you guys did it, here's your cruise, like enjoy that trip. So the first cruise we did last year was kind of a, a a prize for all the work we had done. We had we did extra stuff on that cruise because of it. And that's we we don't use food anymore as a reward. That's we went on a helicopter changed. ride because of it because yeah. there was restrictions back in the day, and we were able to actually get on a helicopter. And the pilot looked at the six of us who were going on the helicopter and said, "We need the two thinnest people to sit at the front." And two of us went, who? "Where?" And, and it was us. us. <laughs> which, oh my gosh. which. How did that I cried. Uh, yeah, we cried we that cried. day. Uh, we, we, it was really emotional because we were always the bigger guys since childhood. We were always the bigger guys. I was over 300 pounds at one point in university. Like I, I've never been tiny. I've always had people who've known us before this last two years. Like everybody who's met us since we've started this social media know us as this. This is our faces. But yeah, all you have to understand, all our friends and family have never, this is not what they've seen for 30, 40 years no. of our lives. So for them, that was a huge change because we don't look like the same people anymore. No, exactly. So. And I think what ends up happening too is 
as we changed, we didn't, we changed physically, but our inside was also changing as well. And our minds were also changing. So people, yeah. especially close friends, had to get to know us again. Yeah. Because yeah, we... So you said something to me before we even started about your life before. You know, you lived in another house, you lived in the suburbs, and then after losing weight, something changed. So do you feel like you're living a more authentic life now? Oh, yeah. We, we were, we were, we were limiting ourselves. We didn't, we, and a lot of people who we, who we meet often limit themselves as well. They'll say, I can't do this. I can't do that. Or I'll never be able to do this. And the thing is that we used to do the same thing. We used to say we, this is not possible. We never thought we would succeed this time. When we started this time, we did thought, we thought we weren't going to succeed. We also never, ever imagined the two of us being known as the WW gays to be out open yeah. proud and to not be afraid of sharing our story that's it that's 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 a that was a huge step for both of us because as a gay couple not knowing how people would interact with us or react to our story was a game changer for us but now we're proud of it we're happy with who we are and if we can inspire others to be happy with who they are that's what we want so I just want to show people, because I'm not sure people just have ever seen it, but this is our before picture here, just so people can see. This is what we used to look like back in the day. And like I said, this that was us for most of our life. Yeah. That was March of 2017 on our very first cruise. I mean, you're so cute. But, you know, We're healthy know. now. I, f I can't lie, you know what? And I'm gonna, I don't say this very often, but I feel hot. Yeah. Finally, for the first time in my life, I feel hot. And I know that sounds weird, and I don't mean that, and I'm, I'm trying not to sound in an egotistical way, because yeah. that's not how I mean it, but it's finally where my inside and my outsides are finally feeling like... They match. The biggest thing I learned on this journey is I taught myself to love myself for the first time in 43 years, and I taught myself how to smile. Yeah. So, your why when you joined was for your health. And I asked you beforehand if you would think about what your if your why has changed at all. It hasn't changed. It, it, it's, it's evolved. Changed. It's evolved. So our why so was. When you say things to me like I feel hot now. Yeah. You know. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth. Right. These are these almost superficial things. That, I mean, your health is the most important. That is the most valuable thing you have in your life. But it's these little these little whys now that are like, look at how far I've come. And I don't want to go back to where I'm limited by myself. No, and that's what and that's what a lot of people ask us. And that's exactly what you just said right there. Yeah, you just said it right there. And a lot of people always ask us, what keeps you going? It's because we don't want to go back to that, that old life. We don't want to go back to having the health issues. We don't want to go back to having no mobility to be able to do the stuff we do now. And that's what keeps driving us to not go back to those habits. I turned 43 years old yesterday. And I can honestly tell you, I feel younger than I've ever felt before. Congratulations. I, 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 I can't even explain it. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going here. Keep this train train moving. Okay. Now, you guys have been very active in the WW Virtual App workshops, right? So for the people in the here who have not tried them yet, what would you say are the benefits of jumping on a live? Oh my God, try them. They're amazing. We and did three this morning. Yeah. We did five yesterday. A couple weekends ago, we, we did, did 18, 18 on one, one day. day. So that's nine hours of workshops we did in one day. We were standing up the entire nine hours because we were, we were trying to prove a fact that we were trying to stand up during our virtual workshops. So, and we love them because even though the topic is the same, Every single workshop, you get something new. You get some new piece of information, some new tidbit, some new thing that you didn't even think about. And what we've been doing is bringing that tidbit to other workshops. And you can do the same, right? Or you get the exact same information, but packaged, packaged in a different way, where you go, oh, I finally get that. So it's amazing. If anybody out there has not done it yet, please do and join as many as you can. Remember, there's time zones. If it's midnight art and Eastern time zone, it's it's 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. in somewhere else. So go into that virtual workshop. <laughs> I'm standing up. Someone told me, to stand up, dare you. I don't know, no, we usually don't sit. This is the funny part. I don't know, we thought it would be easier to sit today, but we've actually challenged a lot of people in their workshops 
Why are we? We you're also your head's cut off. Oh, my head's cut off there. On camera. <laughs> Sorry. Why do we sit? Why do we sit in our workshops? Why don't we stand? You know, we are seeing people working out during their workshops Which on is great. ellipticals, on treadmills. That's amazing. Like, good for you for doing that. You know, it's that 30 minutes that you're dual tasking, you're multitasking in a sense, and why not take advantage of those moments? We would not be successful without the WW community. Community, you got the thing that people don't seem to understand is, uh, well, a lot of the times people think, oh, you guys are so inspiring because of you guys, I've been able to do this. What you guys don't understand is that you, you inspire, inspire us. us. I'm looking at people on the screen right now, and I'm gonna call out a few people: Rosie Lewis, and Christina. Christina. Brenda, Brenda Bauer. Like there's so many people uh, out here that we see. There are so many people that reach out to us and talk to us and make us enjoy this journey just as much yeah. because of them. Yeah. Because they're sharing their story. And the, the thing is, this community is it's also supporting, and it's it's we need that support right now. We always have like we having the this community, having the virtual workshops, having Instagram, Facebook, Connect, all these different ways that you can reach out to people just keeps us fulfilled and keeps our minds going because we both suffer from mental health issues. So we need the social aspect in our life. So we understand this of ourselves. So we make sure to keep social and try to do things with as many people as possible. So having that community is crucial yeah. for us right now. They're the foundation. They're basically the foundation of, of everything. Yeah. Uh, WW community, WW uh, employees as well yeah, because if it wasn't guides. for coaches and guides yeah. where would we be like yeah. you guys are the you guys are our frontline workers and one thing I've said to a lot of workshops all of you out there imagine and raise your hand where would you be right now if you had no WW available right now during this pandemic would you be eating the entire fridge without your tools without your tracking without all that so we have to be thankful that we have all this right now and that we can have some support because there's people out there right now who don't have this and, and they're home alone and they don't know what to do and we actually have tools to help us. And one thing- Absolutely, absolutely. So all of you members out there that are missing, your, your, your studio members who are missing going to your workshop space, we still have that for you. Yes. If you are a workshop member and you're missing it, make sure you check out one of these virtual workshops. Okay. We have five minutes left. Before we go to the questions, I am going to challenge you the same way that I challenge my members in my workshop. And I want to know, what is your goal for this week? What are you oh. guys working on this week? We have goals every week, we actually. Have goals every week. So we've been doing since the pandemic has started. We've been setting small goals every week. So. Yeah. So one of the first weeks was we set out to give ourselves a 30 minute walk at lunchtime every day. So we did that. We walked outside and we walked around for 30 minutes every day for lunch. Second um, week was our second week was taking a picture of our dinner. Last week was pictures of breakfast. This week, we're actually going to bring back an old... Uh, so everybody watching, you're getting a little preview from our show tonight on, on YouTube, but we're doing the tracking challenge kind of thing again. So next week, we're going to be posting our trackers, but we're challenging ourselves because normally we bulk track. Everybody, we're not bulk tracking next week. We're going to detail track everything. next week and post our, our trackers. we don't do that normally. Yeah. We bulk track. So that's our, our goal next week. Great. I love it. And I love it. You have a plan for those things? You know how you're going to fit them in? You know when you're going to track? Yep. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Allie, would you mind sharing some of the, some of the questions that we have in the, in the chat? Yeah, we've got, we've got some, uh, some questions that keep coming up. Um, one of them is, how do you deal with the plateau and get your mind back into the game? What Get rid thing? of that Get word. Get rid of the word plateau. Get rid of it. That does not exist. This it's called maintenance. Yes. So what we tell people is, we, I've, like I've, I've been trying to get to, I st we started this, sec this journey in, 20, in 2018 January. It's now 2020. I have still never made lifetime or goal. I have never made it. I'm still trying to get there. So that plateau or maintenance has been happening for me for almost over a year now. But you know what? Are I'm you still, upset with yourself? I'm not upset because I'm not going back up. I'm not going back to where I was. I'm maintaining still a very healthy lifestyle and a healthy weight. So what we tell members is, if you are at that point where you get stuck, learn to live at that moment. If you lost 40 pounds, you need 40 more to go, learn to live at that 40 pounds because you'll need to learn something to learn at when you've lost 80. And so you need to understand those tools right now and then how you can maintain your current weight. And don't use stuck. Say, I'm safe at this weight. Yes, I'm safe. Because we're at safe at home. We're not stuck at home. We're safe at that weight and you're not stuck at that weight. Fantastic outlook. I love it. Um, so also, what made you decide to start posting on YouTube and social media? 
Funny story, yeah. actually a couple years ago we were at a family reunion sitting by a campfire. Nick had been traveling back and forth to Ottawa a lot for work, so we were eating very terribly, but I would go live on Facebook from time to time and I would show the cats and you'd hear me jabbering in the background and I was like, I have like 60 people watching, this is kind of cool. So then at a family reunion I said, hey family, as we were live on Facebook, would you guys like watch us if we did a YouTube channel? And everyone's like, yeah, we would. And I'm like, but we didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to talk about. So, but they, so when we started WW, we actually did not share our journey. Nothing. Like, we didn't share anything at all until about when we had lost 50 pounds, we started posting. Our family and friends started asking us questions. What did you guys do? Like, how did you guys lost so much weight in that short amount of time? So we we're like, we, been, we at the time it was Weight Watchers. So we said, oh, Weight Watchers. So then our family and friends started joining. And because they kept asking us questions, we were we couldn't put our thoughts together. So we said, let's film some videos. We'll put up some videos out so that it'll explain everything we did and then they can watch that and then at least all the notes are there and then we don't have to worry about it in the future. And that's how it all started. And then they would start sharing to other workshops, other workshops are sitting to other countries and it just started just everyone sharing it everywhere. It like, just became like a snowball effect. Yeah. yeah. And then we love doing it. Any plans, any plans for a cookbook? We get that question asked a lot. So we'll give you guys a bit of information. Before all this happened, we were in the process of, we got caricatures made of ourselves. We were actually getting branding made. Uh, we had four characters made. We had hired a, a cartoonist to make uh, versions of us cooking, uh, traveling. So we were actually gonna start having merchandise and starting to work on creating a cookbook. But because of the current times right now, all our recipes are available online. So if you guys go to www.gays.com slash recipes, all our recipes on there, written with videos, instructions, the points are there as well. So you can go there to get written recipes. But we are, we do want at some point to create a cookbook. It's just, right now with the current climate, I'll it's just- i you guys a sneak peek. That's one of the That's one of the caricatures right there. Oh, so cute! It looks like your cats there! Oh yeah! All of the cats are in all of them. That's a, That's the one of us working out. So we're planning to still do it. It's just right now with the current climate, we're, we, people have lost their jaws. People are not able to afford things right now. So we're thinking as long as you guys can still access the recipes, we're fine with it. We don't need to sell cookbooks yet. Someday we will make one, maybe when things settle down again and people can actually, you know, have their jaws back and stuff like that. You, you also notice that our content has changed a little bit lately. No excuses, right between the WW app with all those recipes in. Yeah. Between, what is it, www.gays.com, Yes. Yep. Yeah. We have so much access. All this oh, stuff completely. Love our peeps. That's what our our followers have called branded themselves our peeps. So yeah. they are definitely our peeps. We don't like calling them fans. <laughs> oh, one last thing. Everybody stretch your arms up. Stretch your arms out. And Virtual hug. Hug yourself. Hug yourself. And that's all of us hugging each other. We're hugging each other. All right of now. us are hugging each other. Love it, guys. Well, happy Sunday. It was great meeting you guys. Awesome meeting you too, Emily. Hi everyone. Wow. So you guys just saw the recording ended. And you see that we're in shorts. Exactly. So we will be releasing this video like this instead. So at least, at least you guys still got to see the experience and got to gather questions, mm. right? Hopefully you got to hear the questions clearly. I, I think, think they will. I think they will. They if might not, maybe we can write them out at the bottom or something like that. I'll watch it and see what yeah, it is. Yeah, we'll so figure it out. If you guys enjoy this video, click the subscribe below and you can follow us on all social media using hashtag WWGays. Bye.